In today's video, we unbox the Bolt and Skull Character Pack for Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. Let's take a look. There are hobbyists among us, geniuses with the ability to play any game they want to. In 1978, a corporation known as The Interior isolated a young hobbyist named John and exploited his genius for their entertainment. Then one day, their hobbyist ran away. Here I have the Bulk and Skull character pack for Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid board game. Uh, this is the final segment of their phase one line. I was finally able to get this. I added it into my phase two, uh, but before I got into that new phase two content, I needed to wrap up phase one. So here we have, again, that bulk and skull. Let's go ahead and flip it over so we can see what we have in the box. Looks like we're gonna have two miniatures, one for each of the two new characters, their cards, letting us know exactly what those components were. That we do need the actual game, uh, or the saying that uh, to expand your game, add such and such, that we do need the actual game to play. It is for ages 14 plus, for two to five players with an average runtime of 45 to 60 minutes. Now, one thing to always keep in mind when it comes to the Power Rangers game is while they say two to five players, uh, what that really means is that you will be playing with two to five Rangers. Uh, so technically one player can play this game under any of the scenarios. You will just be controlling all of the Rangers. And because this is a 100% pure co-op game uh, where it is okay to talk back and forth to know what all the other players have, that is very okay. Uh, so, so while they do say two to five, it really is a one to five player game. Meet the two newest Power Rangers, Bulk and Skull. That's right, desperate times call for desperate measures. With the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers captured, Zordon has called two very unlikely heroes into action. These two teenagers with even more attitude are Angel Grove's only hope. Well, let's dive into this and take a look. Again, I love adding more characters, adding more rangers. Anything like this is just gonna add that much more replayability to the game, that much more customization to the game. Uh, so definitely uh, a usable, useful item. Uh, especially this one where the two rangers here are even different colors being purple and orange instead of one of your traditional, uh, you know, red, yellow, blue, green, white, so forth and so on. Up first, we're going to have their little catalog of all of the different Renegade games. There's that. And then one just for the Power Rangers game by the looks of it. Yep. Power up your game. All of the other different items here from Phase 1. And then for the Shattered Grid and the comics by the looks of it. And then we have everything here. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Oh, nice. And then we have the two miniatures first. And that's nice that they don't lock in. Uh, they just slip in and out. Uh, this is always good if you are a painter uh, because when they lock in and you keep putting them in and out, you're just rubbing your paint away, uh, something you definitely don't want to do. Let's go ahead and take a look at bulk first. Oh. <laughs> that is great. A pretty big mold line running up his leg there. Uh, very fixable though. And then skull. Now he locks in. Now that's a little disappointing. Now he definitely locked in uh, the thing that you don't want to see. 
Uh, so we might need to, like right here is where he's locking into the tray. Uh, so you might want to cut away that uh, or, or push it in or something if you're a painter. His clothes are kind of coming out. Did Bulk try his on first? <laughs> That's funny. Stretch them out. Now let's get into the cards. Here we have Bulk's character card and his Zord card. Now all character cards have this same back and all Zords have that coming back. So then let's go ahead and take a look at Skull. And then of course each character has their own 10 card, oops, let me go over there. Their own 10 card character decks. Let's go ahead and take a look at these individually. We will start off with Bulk, being that's who we started off the first time. And then on to Skull. Well, that is everything for the Bulk and Skull character pack for Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. I hope this unboxing has helped you to determine if this is something that you would be interested in to adding to your Hero Power Rangers board game. I definitely really like this, really like the idea of whenever you can add in extra heroes, uh, extra monsters, extra you know uh, bosses, whatever it is, the more of that kind of stuff that you can add, just the more replayability, the more different combinations that you can bring, uh, the more different just variants that you can bring into your game. Absolutely love it. Well, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.